Hey guys, well I wanted to give you an update on the Camaro. So, as you can see, I've got it in the shop here. Um, kind of got it, you know, space cleared out. Now that it's finally warm enough, I'm not parking my daily driver in here. And my girlfriend it isn't either. You know, I gave her that option. She said, she said, nope, the derby season's more important. I love her. Um, so, um, got the Camaro in here as well as, hey, look at that, the Suburban is here now in Fort Wayne. How about that? Yep, my dad finally was able to get it out here. Very appreciative of that. And so the Suburban is here. Um, it's all stripped out. I'll be giving a video of that shortly. Um, so here's the Camaro. I've got it in here. Started tearing it apart. I've already got the, uh, the hood off. Um, basically got the front end off as well. All the screws are loose except for a few on the side fenders. So I'm going to take a sawzall and cut the fiberglass and then that skin should just drop off. Um, let's look under here. I've got like the uh, the overflow tank out, the battery out, all the wiring harness that was under here is cut. Um, windshield wipers and that whole assembly is all out. Um, as well as the windshield washer tank. Number of cool coolant lines, the um, the compressor for the air conditioning. We got all the bolts out for this, the uh, the heater core here and fan um, assembly. Um, but there's one more bolt that I'm missing, and that's on the inside. And uh, once I start tearing out the interior, then I'll be able to get to it. So what I've been doing is um, starting with the easy stuff on the outside. I was actually having a water issue here with my shop and so I've been spending a lot of time up on the roof um, sealing up the cracks. They never used any sealant when they built this metal building so I had to pop up all the seams and fix that as well as just fix some drafts that I was getting in and so long story short I was getting water on top of the car and so I wanted to wait to take out the glass here until I uh, had that fixed. The winter was not kind to the building so had to make some repairs there. Um, so what have I done on the inside? Well, I haven't really done much I have, as far as taking stuff out, but I have cleaned it. Um, I basically just pulled all the heavy junk that was in the inside out, and um, these seats were actually, in the, the back seats here, were actually folded down, and so there was all kinds of mouse traps, uh, I mean, mouse nests, um, and all kinds of stuff in here, and you'll see on the other side, that seat is disgusting. Oh, and if only I could describe to you how bad this car smells on the inside. Just the sheer amount of mildew and mold and, oh, who, I mean, God only knows what, what is actually in there, but it reeks bad. So I'm going to be pulling everything out. Probably going to keep the seat, going to have to let it fumigate <laughs> and uh, maybe cover it or something. So I'll keep the seat and probably part of the steering wheel, but other than that, most of this will go. Um, I might even just, usually I store stuff in the shop, um, just miscellaneous parts, but those I might throw right in the back of my truck. Um, <clears throat> again, cleaned it out. This back hatch is really heavy and these shocks have absolutely no force left in them, so that kind of stinks. So this will be coming off shortly. So again, just got all the junk cleaned out, folded that little piece down. Been having this open just to try to let it air out. Um, interesting thing about these Camaros that I didn't even know about was the fact that this glass basically acts as the main hatch. So if you look at it, it's just one chunk of glass and you bolt it bolts here um, to the car. And then I've also got then the last this metal chunk here for the where the what I would consider to be more of like a trunk piece. Um, this is metal. And it's actually bolted on the bottom side to the glass. And so what I'm going to end up doing is going to unbolt it, you know, from the car up here. I'm going to take it off and then unbolt this piece. And then I'm going to reuse this. Some of, you, some of you guys probably don't, but I've seen it. Well, I know you don't because I've seen you guys run without it. But I'm going to take this and because I'm allowed to valley a trunk, um, I'm not allowed to, you know, wedge or anything, but I can valley the trunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to weld it to the fender because that's what the rules allow. 
and then I'm going to bend it all nice and flat. And as well, to all this, I'm going to then run a bar, I'm allowed a bar, from the top roof to above the, uh, the area between the wheel wells. I'm not really sure exactly what that all looks like just yet. Hopefully it's fairly solid, but I'm also going to have a bar coming down for that. So hopefully with all that and um, a little bit of pre-bending on the back and, of course, ball peening because that um, definitely can get you a lot of extra strength if the rules allow you to do that. I'm going to be going to town on this thing and hopefully making it pretty solid. So I'm just going to peek on the inside here. Whew, buddy. Man, I wish we had smell -o vision on the in YouTube here, because this reeks. Um, again, this seat is just disgusting. Gonna go, and it might just go right outside. I don't care if it rains on it. We do it good to give it a wash. Um, it does have uh, T-tops, so if any of you guys need these, um, they're actually in pretty good shape. Um, there is no cracks or dings or scratches that I can see, at least yet. Maybe just some little minor scratches. Um, but these things were not properly sealed. This one actually appears to be fairly decent, but the one on the driver's side, it just pops right up without any issue. So that would explain where all the water and moisture was coming in. So, and that tire just goes flat within like six hours of actually filling it. It's a shame because these were almost brand new tires when they put on the car. Uh, 13 years ago, and they were just so dry rotted that there's just it's you know I wouldn't trust them on the road at all. So might keep them, throw them on it for maybe a burnout competition. Ooh, that might be kind of fun. Might try to do that this year. If we can get this thing together in time. Um, would love to take it to a burnout competition maybe. Tear it up. Gonna have the V8, all kinds of power that I don't need, but it'll be fun. And got the motor sitting there. It's all covered up at the moment. Just uh, keeping it protected, you know, through the winter and whatnot. But um, I'm gonna be uh, tearing apart the interior here in just a little bit. Yay, excitement! But um, gotta start with it. It's gonna be uh, hopefully better once I get that all torn out. Maybe it'll won't smell quite so bad. I'm hoping I get rid of that. Between that and some paint, hopefully it'll smell a little more uh, tolerable. So there you go, update on the Camaro. It is in the garage, in the shop here. Um, it's uh, about nine o'clock at night or so, but got all the lights fired up here, gonna get some work done. Got a little time here, and um, gonna hopefully get this thing ripped apart. So there you go, and until the next video, we'll talk to you later, guys. Hey,